In this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through how to use the Marvin JS tool in drawing Newman projections. So let's take a look at this problem. We're asked to draw a Newman projection of this molecule looking down this perspective that this blue line is indicating. So when we do that, we need to pick a Newman template down below that has a carbon in front and back. They're all going to have that. But on the front carbon, we need to have the methyl group pointing up, and on the back carbon, we need to have an ethyl group pointing down. And if we look down below, there's these three Newman templates right here. So here's the first one. Right, this is uh, staggered. Now this has a carbon in the front, but an atom pointing down here. So that's not the right template. We want this, but we want to turn this steering wheel around so that that H group is pointing up here. This next set right here, if we look at it, that's Eclipse, so that's just a totally wrong choice. So it's probably going to be this guy. Let's look at it. Well, here we have our central atom. That's that carbon that's in front. And we have an atom pointing up. That's what we want. So let's, let's work with this. And we're going to have to edit all of these atoms to get them um, to match with the structure up above. Well, before we do that, though, let's come over here. And we're going to select these two guys and we're going to delete them. All right, so here's our structure that we're going to be dealing with here. So let's come up here and take a look. All right, now um, on the top uh, position there, we have a methyl group and then we have our carbon, carbon and back. And then on the bottom, we have an ethyl. So we need to change this top group here in the front atom to a methyl. And then the bottom group, the one that's pointing down, needs to be changed to an ethyl down here below. So that's this guy right here. That right there needs to be a CH3. So I've selected it, and I'm going to hit my keypad, letter C, turn it into a methyl. And then down here, we want that to be an ethyl. So we can do the same thing. We can change that to a CH3. While it's still selected, if I choose this single line tool, It'll draw that out and turn that into an ethyl group. All right, and then we'll click on our screen and get rid of that selection. Now we just need to take care of these chloros in the bromo group. Now, that chloro group, as we come down and look at our structure down below, that chloro group, it, its position matters. It's going to end up being here on the left-hand side. So we're going to come over here, grab our chloro group, change this into chlorine. And then looking up here, our bromo group, looking from this perspective as we rotate this molecule around towards ourself, is also going to be pointing on the left-hand side. So we're going to come down, pick the bromo, put the bromo group in there, just like that. Now all we have to do is come down here to submit. We'll hit submit, and there we have it, a green check mark. And that's how you do it.